Those are worth 10 points. These are worth three, the spinning ones. Three points. These are one. You can also get them with the ricochet. See, every time you hit one, there's like three ricochet shots. Those can also damage your enemy. Oh, there it goes. And as you all know, Odyssey 2, one life. 127 is my high score for the day. I want to say my high score is over 500, but I have it written down. I don't plan to do that now in the video. Really? shoot things or bump into them when you have your shield. The regular stars are worth a point, satellites. And the spinning satellites are worth three, UFOs are worth ten. You shoot them or bump into them. Either way, that's what they were. Sometimes you don't want to fire if you think the UFO is due to come out. You kind of want to stalk it by hiding behind the satellite. This was called. This game was called UFO here in the states. Europe, I believe it was called Satellite. Uh, 
then it had another name somewhere else. I believe in Brazil. No, Brazil, I think it was just spelled in Brazil. Ovani, I think. But it was called something else somewhere in the Joe Packs or something. I have all the versions. They're all the same. They don't play any different. They're all exactly the same. You have to rotate your cannon. Ah, uh, see? I exposed myself by firing. So I gotta at least beat that 127 that I did before the video. It's a tough, tough game to score high. But I know I've gotten over 500, I believe. I don't know if that was back in the day. It might have been back in the day. I gotta check on my high score in the recent years. Well, my high score back in the day, I don't have the exact figure. And I used to play the shit out of this game as a 12 year old. I got over 500. See, now the UFOs do to come out. So it's best not to fire and get exposed. See? The thing is, when the UFO fires at you, the first time it hits you with its fire, you lose your shield, and when it hits you again, it kills you. And it shoots, it shoots fast. See, you got no chance, unless you're hiding behind the satellite. Or you can get in a, in a position where you're not in the line of fire which is sometimes to be in the middle or on top of it because it shoots diagonally it fires diagonally so I probably had that down at one time where I could stay on the line of fire there's probably one dude to come out there it is so you're better off just not even trying to get them if you're not in position to get them. You're better off just running away. See? That one came out right in the line of fire. I had no chance. So 127 it is for now. stay to the side you can avoid the line of fire see it's when they shoot in that angle you gotta maneuver your way out of there playing this on original hardware the original controller as you can see 
on an old school furniture television. Wood grain. An old school zenith. I wish it was a magnet. I almost picked up a, a, a I almost picked up a magnet box TV like this. It was beautiful. I never never picked it up. They come around once in a while. Ninety six there, but this zenith is nice. I have a few Magalox CRTs, like smaller ones, portable, not portable, but just shelf ones, not smaller ones, 13 inch, I think I got a 19 inch, I'd love to get a Magalox someday. Of these, I call them furniture TVs. The wood look TV. This one's from like eighty something, eighty four. I want to say this TV or eighty six. People refer to this as the asteroids ripoff or a clone. I would say it is, but it's much different. That was a close call. Right, now I gotta be ready for those UFOs. Just stay right out of the line with them. See, these, act, these satellites actually act as protection. So you kind of want to keep them around if you think the UFOs do to come because it comes out randomly every so often. So it could come out like any time now. Oh, there it is. I had no chance. 111. So let me put my name in there. So you can actually ricochet the line of fire back at it if you have your full ray, the right at, at the full strength. 
So like you see, I don't know if you can tell in the video, but it's blue. And when you fire, it goes away and then it has to, each dot has to come back from white to blue. And when it's all blue, you're at full shield. So that adds as like more protection. That's why I'm able to like walk right into the UFOs when it's full shield. And sometimes it even ricochets the line of fire back at the UFO for a certain point. So there it is. So see how, oops, see I got hit once there and it, my shield went away. If I had gotten hit again, I would have been dead. Whoa, whoa, that was a close call. Oh man, see I ricocheted at that time. do to come out. There it is. Come on. So you got to kind of guess where you think it's going to come out. It could come out anywhere. So there's no warning. That, there's no warning showing where it's going to come from. So it's just a guess in game, really. See how I dodged it there? And then when the UFO hits one of those satellites, it, it disappears. So the satellites get rid of it, but you don't get the points for it when the satellite gets it. Oh, I did my score. I beat it. Now I'm going to go for... Do to come out. Where is it coming? There it is. So obviously, when the satellites get rid of the UFO for you, you don't get the points for it. Oh, not well. There I did because I hit the satellite first, and then the debris got the UFO. Now we're gonna go for 200. Oh boy, here it is. Got him. So you can get into a little flow. Ooh, there we go. They're coming after me. Now I want to say these start speeding up. I haven't noticed it yet. Yeah, I think they are starting to move differently. There it is. Just, oh! 2.19. Well, that's it for today, folks. 2.19 is the high for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll do more of these in the near future. Y'all be good.